So here with this first one, I'm going to start with the idea that I have s pounds of sand. Okay, now it tells me that one third of it was washed away. So one third washed away. So that would be what I had minus one third of what I had. In other words, that's telling me that after that washing away, I have two thirds of what I started with in the amount of sand. Then the next day I add the 50 pounds. So now I add 50 pounds. So I'm at the two thirds S and now I add 50 pounds. So there is my expression. Two thirds S plus 50. Now let's look at the next problem here. Here I see that I have, I'm going to start with M dollars in the bank. On Monday, I add 100. So when, that means I now have what I started with plus $100. Tuesday, I remove one-fifth of currently what is in the bank. So what's in the bank right now? It's not just the M, it's the M plus 100. So I have this M plus 100 in the bank, and I'm removing a fifth of that M plus 100. Now we can work on simplifying this down. So this becomes, I'm going to distribute this negative one-fifth to both terms. So now I have 1M plus 100 minus 1 fifth m minus, well, a fifth of 100 is 20. So if I combine my like terms, I have 4 fifths of my money, and then 100 minus 20 gives me 80. And so the big thing to pay attention to here is that second part about removing a fifth of what is in the account. And the account's not just the original M, it's the M plus 100. Try doing it with an actual number and you'll see. Like if I started with $40, I add 100. Now I have $140. I'm going to remove a fifth of that. Well, I'm removing a fifth of 140, not 100 and not of just the original amount of the 40. So that's a way you can start to think about it. Try plugging in a real number and seeing what happens when you think about it that way. All right, so now we have this one where I have C ounces of Coke zero. So I'm gonna start again with my C. I buy an additional 32 ounces. So buying 32 ounces, so that's C plus 32, then I drink one-fourth of what I have. Now, I don't drink one-fourth of the original amount. I don't drink a fourth of the 32 ounces. I drink one-fourth of everything. So that means that I'm taking all that I have and I'm removing one-fourth of it. Think about if I'd had, I'll put a number there, 30 ounces. I'm not drinking a fourth of 30 ounces. I'm drinking a fourth of 62 ounces. So again, I want to take my minus one fourth and distribute it. So that would become 1C plus 32 minus a fourth of C minus a fourth of 32, which is 8. 1C minus 1 fourth gives me 3 fourths C. 32 minus 8 gives me plus 24. And there's my solution for this problem. My last expression. Here it says I pay $8 for an LED light bulb, and it costs me a penny per day to use the light bulb. Write this expression for the total cost of the night light in terms of D, the number of days I use the light bulb. Okay, so here I start actually with the amount that I spend, which is $8. Then I know that it is one penny 
per day. This means that my initial cost plus my penny for every day, and I don't know how many days I have, so I would multiply it by D, which will represent the number of days that I may have.